So let's have a, a, a talk about um, self-defense, but in a different way, and the way that, that the Army thinks about it, and certainly in my time in, in Special Air Service, it was that everybody fought the, the, the same way. The, the, the whole basis of self-defense, if you've got to start doing all that stuff you see on the TV, you know, in order, you know, the blocking and the fighting and all that sort of stuff, well, actually, you, you're not using self-defense because that's the end, uh, end result of not doing the job correctly. What it's all about is using your observational skills, using understanding what's going on about you to make sure that you don't get in that situation in the first place. And even, you know, in, in, uh, even walking around the, the, the streets, you know, everybody knows not to, you know, bring out their, their new iPhones and all that sort of stuff in dodgy areas because you invite a problem to happen. So what you don't want to do is be that, that victim of a problem. So even if you're in that situation, you're out and, and you're getting a, 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 a situation where you know, people are, are, are you know, being sort of aggressive to you. The fact is, it's, even in a military sense, it's always best to move away from that because you don't want to take them on because you might lose. And even when you're the big, you know, the generals planning sort of military campaigns, whether it be Iraq, Afghanistan or whatever goes on in the future, you always, always work on a basis of a superiority of three to one. There's always going to be three tanks to one of their tanks or three bodies bayonets fighting to one of their bodies because you want to make sure that you're going to win. And even in those big military conflicts, there's a lot of times where the military won't go in and do it because it's too risky. So they're avoiding that, that problem. And even time in, in the special air service, you know, there was a lot of uh, uh, operations, certainly undercover operations, where you would never get involved in any form of fight. Everything was all about avoiding that, not having the fancy watch on, not getting the fancy mobile phone out. If there was some aggression going on, nothing to do with you, you just move away from it immediately. And even if your mate was starting to get involved in that aggression, basically what you're doing, you're taking a breath, calming everything down and taking him out of that situation. Because then you've got control about what's going on rather than everybody else, you reacting to what's going on. And even, you know, if you think about soldiers and special air service, you know, doing all that unarmed combat, all that sort of stuff. If you're out and you're, you're, you're out with your mates on a, on a night out in Hereford, which is the town where the Special Air Service live, and you get involved in a fight, you get kicked out of the Special Air Service. Because what it shows is that there's a lack of discipline, self-discipline, to get involved in something like that. So that's how it sort of works. It's all about getting out of problems on, and, 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 and making sure in the first place you don't get in the problem. Because always, always, you might lose.